Mm, all right, that's that's pretty cool. I like a cruel bar, you know. It's like Half Life kind of deal, you know. That's pretty nice. Right. Ooh, little little crossbow. That looks that looks pretty overpowered right there. Ooh, a sword. That looks really nice. Ooh, that MX Grand with that noise, baby. Just like the M1 Grand does. That's great. Wait, wait, wait. What? Hold on. What? Oh. Good morning, you beautiful people, or should I say bad morning, you beautiful people? That's all right, we're allowed to have bad days, and this is one of them. This is a bad day for Call of Duty. This is a really bad day for Call of Duty because the Black Market update was just released with new and different weapons. If you are unaware, which I'm not sure you are, because Black Ops 3 subreddit has exploded and gone crazy with this because... Treyarch just went full sledgehammer. You're not supposed to go full sledgehammer. Let me tell you what having uh, different weapons in a random luck-based black market supply drop system does. You see, Call of Duty has always been about progression. It's always been about playing the game to unlock weapons, to unlock perks, to unlock attachments. The more you play, the more you get. But eventually, eventually, and if you want to, once you hit level 55, once you hit the commander level, you have exactly the same options as literally every other player on the field. When these supply drops were implemented into Black Ops 3, they were purely cosmetic. Yes, there were some really cool cosmetic stuff that people wanted, and that's fine. But your options were still there. You could still grind out every single weapon in the game. The content that was available to you was available for everybody, excluding the season pass. All of the content in-game was available to you once you hit that commander level. What having these different weapons in the supply drops in the black market does is it allows you to not have all of the content available to you at that max level. It doesn't guarantee you the content at all. It is random. It is luck based. It is not based on time played. It's not even based on money given. It is 100% random. So say I have Dark Matter Camo. I've used each and every weapon for thousands of kills. I want something new. I want something different. Back in Call of Duty Ghosts, the Maverick was released. And at that time, I did have every single weapon gold. And when the Maverick was released, I had so much fun and frustration getting that gold. But it was a new, different, fun weapon. And I got it gold within a day because I'm insane. So say I got Dark Matter now. Now I want to try the X or the X uh, X1. What is it? The M uh, the M1 Grand. I want to get the M1 Grand, the MX Grand. I want to get the crossbow. I want to get this new pistol. I want to see how good it is. I want to use that experience. I want to get that content that I've already that's already in the game that I've paid for. I want to play the game that I paid for. In order for me to actually get that new content, I have to rely on luck and random numbers generated. I've played this game a lot, and ever since the wrench, the brass knuckles, and whatever the other thing was released, I still, I've only opened rare supply drops, I still to this day have not gotten any one of those. Now that's okay because that's purely cosmetic, and the sword and the crowbar, that's fine. You can put that in the black market. That is only cosmetic. Yes, it's cool, but functionally, you're not getting a different experience than anybody using a regular old combat knife. There is an entirely different weapon in the game that I have no access to for no reason, for literally no reason, because I'm not lucky enough because the numbers weren't on my side, that's that's so, that is such a turnoff. Now I know you beautiful people are gonna do this because literally everybody else has done this before. You are thinking of a way to make this fair. You're thinking of a way to make everybody happy. You're thinking, you know what, maybe if they put just like a crypto key price on these weapons, you know, like 100 crypto keys, you can just automatically unlock this new weapon or 50 crypto keys and you got the crowbar or something. That is a solution. And there are plenty of really reasonable, valid solutions. However, 
you have to keep in mind that the sole purpose behind putting these weapons in the black market is not because it's fair, it's not because it's fun, it's not because it's good for the players, it's because they want our money. Hey, customers only. You need to buy off of Chicha. Plain and simple, there is nothing, there's no disputing this at this point. They have absolutely, they have shown that they are willing to put it in the game for free. That It's technically in the game for free, and if you want to get it for free, you can. But, we're not going to give it to you. No, that would be too easy. That would be nice on the players. No, 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 we're not going to give it to you. We're not even going to put it behind a paywall. These weapons should have been in DLC 1. That's what they should have been. That would have been more fair, because at least you know what you're spending your money on. The reason they put it in the black market is because it's random. And people are going to spend an X amount of money. They might spend $5, they might spend $20, they might even spend $40 just at the chance, just at the possibility of getting these weapons. Unfortunately, David Vondahar went on Twitter and has said that they only want cosmetic items in the black market. At least that's what happened a couple months ago. Hopefully I can find the tweet and put it on the screen or in the description or somewhere. You can go find it yourself. I don't know if I'll remember, but this is either him lying, which I honestly don't think he would do. I don't know the guy at all. I just kind of see him on Twitter here and there, uh, but I don't think he would blatantly lie like that, though uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he did. What I think happens, what I think is the most reasonable thing, is that Activision sort of vetoed what Treyarch wanted. They vetoed it and they made them put it in the black market. I don't know exactly what, what went on. You know, maybe it is Treyarch. Maybe it's other people at Treyarch who wanted it in the black market. I'm not entirely sure, but it's so shady and it made David Vonderhaar a liar. And unfortunately, he's going to get a lot, a lot of heat for this. There is a wonderful write-up. Uh, on Reddit that I will again either put on the screen. It's a lengthy post So I'll probably just put it in the description, uh, but maybe I'll put it on screen so you can pause it as well just Explaining everything short and sweet why this is wrong and why we don't like this and why this is shady and why We truly cannot give them our money anymore, which is brings me to the second point the second point uh, You know, that's what happens that's what I have a problem with, and that's what I think everybody has a problem with. Now, what are we going to do about it? And more specifically, as a channel update, what am I going to do about it? The number one thing, the most important thing for us to do is to not buy anything. Don't give them what they want. Speak with our wallets. We can make all of the videos. We can make all of the Reddit posts, but they don't care as long as we keep giving them our money. There is a scene in NWA uh, where they're breaking and smashing all of the records from NWA. And I forget who says it, but they say, well, we have their money, you know, like at least they bought the records. You know, that's all they care about. So don't buy COD points. Don't spend a single dollar on COD points. And if you can, if you have the opportunity, don't spend any money on an extra game, on an extra season pass, or anything to give them the benefit of knowing that 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 is how we speak to people. If you haven't taken economics, the way you speak to uh, the companies, the way you speak to what you want as a consumer, you speak with your wallets, you speak with whatever you're buying, you're investing in, and you're approving. So when you approve them, or when you buy COD points, you are approving COD points. So that is the number one thing for us as beautiful people not to do. Do not spend a single cent on COD points. Now, unfortunately, this could not have come at a better or worse time because this is where the channel update gets in here. Um, I was fully ready to purchase a PlayStation 4 bundled with Black Ops 3. Like, I have it in my shopping cart on Amazon, or not on Amazon, but another site. I forget exactly where it is. Um, but I have it in my cart. I was ready to purchase it for Black Ops 3. I was ready to invest in this game because I thought this would be the game. This is such a great, solid game up until yesterday for me. But now, 
I don't want to give them that benefit. I don't want to give them just the, the feel of, yes, we got another one. I don't want to give them a cent more, and I don't even want to buy the season pass anymore. However, for me, personally, I really do enjoy this game, and I think the season pass, I've always believed the season pass to be reasonable, you know, like all of the maps is an endless amount of content. It is definitely worth it for me, at least literally, well, some of the times I've bought the season pass, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, definitely worth the season pass, Advanced Warfare was just a horrible game. But this year, this is such a good game, I do feel the season pass would be worth it, and Personally, aside from YouTube, zombies look so good and feel so great. I want to play the giant and I want to play uh, Derizon Draha and that looks super, super fun to me. So I might buy the season pass, but I'm really drastically, drastically reconsidering buying this for the PlayStation 4 because believe it or not, this video in and of itself, I have some control over you beautiful people and influence over you into what exactly you desire. You know, I put up a, a ghost video, you know, talking about what I liked about Ghost and what I want to see in Ghost 2. And somebody in the comment section said, you know what, I want to go play some Ghost right now. So, so even if it's that subtle, even if it's just that one person, I am sort of advertising this game whenever I make a video on it, whenever I explain how to play it better, whenever I show off a good gameplay, it makes you want to play it. Whenever you see a Mark J video and he just goes ham, it makes you want to play Black Ops 3. We are advertising for them as well. And so I may sort of shift away, you know, I, uh, of course, I again, I love Black Ops 3. I think it's a great solid game. But I'm really hurt right now. Like, honestly, like, I thought this was going to be the Call of Duty to finally bring us back to that old, good, solid, genuine Call of Duty experience and just jump away from what Sledgehammer did to Call of Duty. Unfortunately, it's the exact opposite. What they did was even worse. They went back exactly what they did in Advanced Warfare. The only difference is that Black Ops 3 is a good Call of Duty. This is still shady, this is still underhanded, this is still morally wrong. And so in the background, if I can't really find uh, any other sort of gameplay or something, don't be surprised to see some zombies gameplay because I really do truly enjoy zombies. Don't be, uh, you know, and I will, uh, I'm not going to give up Black Ops 3, you know. I was really considering it yesterday just because of how heated I got of it. It's just, it's so upsetting that they, that they just, it feels like they were disingenuous for the past four months. So it's going to take some time for me to feel better about the situation. It's going to take some time for me to want to actually play the game again. And it's going to take some time for me to actually want to advertise this game anymore. So hopefully you guys understand I'm not quitting Call of Duty I'm just trying to prevent myself from doing what I did in an Advanced Warfare and every single video being about how awful Advanced Warfare was um, even though I somehow managed to sneak that in even now in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 so anyway that's my thoughts that's my feelings I'm a flawed human being so forgive me if I didn't say something properly but I want to know how do you guys feel about it? Are you as upset as I am? What are you going to do from here on out? Are you going to buy COD points? Are you not going to buy COD points? Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty moment, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day.